Good Monday morning out there to everybody. You guys, this is week 13 of 2021. I'm so excited. So this is the last of week of March and a couple days, two days, right? One, two, a couple days. We're gonna have uh, April Fool's Day. Um, April showers or April brings May showers. April showers brings May flowers. Isn't that how that goes? Anyways, it's almost, it's almost April. I'm highly caffeinated already. Oh, the coffee is hot today. Um, anyways, I, oh, I am so excited to get, um, sit down, talk about this. Um, there's so much I wanted to talk about and I'm like having to like push it like to the next week because I am trying to keep these videos a little bit short, but good morning on positivity. You guys, today I want to talk about how to change your mindset. Not how to, but like benefits from, uh, and that goes from changing your mindset, your approach, your thoughts, um, your attitude towards everything. But it also affects like the group of people, like the, your, your positivity is also affected by the group you surround yourself with. Does that make sense? So with being home and everything, you really are stuck inside your house. Um, and so you, your company is like, for the most part, the people that you live with. Um, but anyways, you really do have to be careful, I feel like, to not have too much negative effect on yourself because you, you will, if you have too much negativity on the inside, that is what you project on the outside. And then it just, it snowballs, it affects everybody around you, and then it bounces back at you. So basically, I mean, I guess it's kind of karma-like. You are what you will get from the universe what you put out so if you put out the, ne the negativity that's what you're gonna get back in and that is why positivity is just a fun fantastical thing fantastical <laughs> oh it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good monday oh no it was uh, a <laughs> the w <laughs> the well list <laughs> anyways i was on tiktok last night um okay oh focus 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 so if you want to feel like you get more positivity in your life, definitely make sure that that's what you're putting out. Don't put out the fear. Don't put out the anger, the negativity. I mean, we all have those negative emotions, but just try not to make that a basis or like a daily life or even often because you will get that back at you. Like if you are a very negative person, that is exactly what you're going to get back. You won't be able to see the positivity. And I'm changing it, it is hard. Change is hard, but change is also very much so worth it in many cases, especially when it's like change for a positive. But if you have a positive approach to change, we'll say, um, I think it, 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 it just, the transition is so much better. Positive change for moving was super scary. I don't know. I honestly, I don't know how I did it, but because I have four kids and because they they rely on me for their positivity, for, for scary things, um, to get them through that, I don't feel like I had much time to have any negative thoughts, feelings. I mean, it was, it was frustrating. I remember feeling frustrated, but I didn't have like the fear <laughs> so I, I mean with the move we, we made sure it was super exciting for the kids we learned a lot about the state and so I was just super excited about the move and you are what you put out so I put out a lot of excited energy and I was super excited about loading up I mean we left like left left we left at like was it 4 35 o'clock my kids were ready like like they were like come on dad come on mom You're, i mean they were out the door like out the door so super excited to go on a long trip <laughs> my kids are a hoot so that's something at like short i guess it was i mean it was a long term it was a it was a process but you are what you put out you know so if you're super excited super happy like you're going to be able to stop, take the moment. You're going to be able to see the happiness, the, the positivity, the light in a friendship or a relationship. You'll be able to see all of those when you surround yourself with like-minded people. Um, and that is something, I mean, a, a couple weeks, we've been talking about surrounding yourself with positive people and positivity and stuff like that. 
and you know that is really hard but I feel like something I, I do think with the, the COVID I think and I could be wrong <laughs> but I think there's been a little bit more positivity and happiness because you're not gathering in mass groups of people and then being angry because you can't you, you you can't gather in mass groups at all so you have to be very picky and choosy of who you do surround yourself with oh laughter is, is so good you know grab if you have that one person in your life and i hope you do i hope everybody has that one person that when you see them your your spirit is just uplifted and you just re-energized with happiness and love and just all of those great happy positive feelings anyways I hope everybody has that person grab that person go have a, a coffee together have a tea invite them over or just I don't just just see that person I mean sometimes it's a person sometimes it's an animal you know what you guys it's like the first day I don't think it's supposed to rain and thank you garbage truck for taking my garbage I'm so excited oh the dog and I we are going for a walk today I'm so excited I like have shorts on because oh it's it's too hot for your long yoga pants I'm trying to hold out like without turning on my AC on Lord knows I want to <laughs> I know it's March so it is something that does take time um but I really feel like when you slow down and you think I want to be happy about this change or I want this to be a positive change take a deep breath I mean if you don't have to actually meditate but you know what take some time for yourself just you know if you even if you sit down and you think about the details of the change or the details of whatever is bothering you I mean there's a lot in the news that you could to take <laughs> you literally every headline and you know let it let it instill fear or anger or upset you and that's something that you have to be very very selfish with you have to have a block you have to you have to have walls you have to have boundaries where you don't let outside things affect you in the negative manner I mean I think it's really good to stay current with things especially like the news and everything stay current but try your hardest to have your wall a filter if you will where you don't let it affect you negative negative negatively wow that was my body didn't even want to say that so be informed but like don't because every single article you read it instills something negative some kind of negative feeling it is meant to scare you it is meant to make you upset it is meant to put out anger so that you sway a certain way be informed get the facts and and be just be informed be informed but be happy about being informed Does that make sense can you do that can you do that anyways that's what I do and I do limit my news exposure because whoa you get sensory overload but anyways so have your filters have your walls have your boundaries because you you, you are worth the happiness and the beauty in it, this world yeah don't let the fear and the negativity and the the icky feelings of all the negative <sighs> don't let that affect you don't let that make you you change it because the world needs a lot of love and a lot of caring and you can't have that when you are just in a poopy mood if you're in a poopy mood you are not caring you're not caring for other people you're not caring for yourself and you're not fun to be around <laughs> all the poopy people out there with the poopy behaviors stop it <laughs> have a cup of coffee have a great cup of coffee a great cup of tea whatever it is that you drink healthy think oh my neighbor she she makes ginger tea oh it is so good I love ginger tea I I've liked tea forever but since Gladys has made me like ginger tea, I'm like, oh, that's so good. She made me some ginger tea yesterday, so thank you. If you are watching today's M Positivity Mondays, anyways. <laughs> okay, you guys, keep the positivity, smile, get out in nature, 
even if you just stand at your window, if it's raining, well, hopefully it's not raining all day or cloudy all day, but stand at your window if it's too cold to go outside and just get a little bit of sunshine kisses today. If you can, sit on the porch or the back deck, wherever it is, just, or just stand there, just stand there. If you don't wanna walk anywhere, just go stand outside. I mean, it looked like a crazy person, but a crazy person getting sunshine kisses because sunshine kisses equals happiness and happiness equals positivity and positivity is just fun. <laughs> that is my highly caffeinated message for Monday. <laughs> Congratulations. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Anyways, all right. We're at 13 minutes. I'm going to jump off here, you guys. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. Don't forget to subscribe and come back next week for another fun positivity coffee chat at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs>